Welcome back to Lost Eyes Channel. My name is Anton Vjeltsen. I'm an attorney in the Southern District of California here in San Diego. If you're a returning viewer and you watched my channel last week, you remember we discussed a Ninth Circuit case that dealt with consent as an exception to the warrant requirement under the Fourth Amendment. Now, the facts of that case was rather interesting. An individual got pulled over. The officer asked for permission to search the phone. The individual consented to that search. And while the officer was looking through the phone, it rang. The officer answered and impersonated the individual. And while he had the conversation with the caller, the caller tied the individual to the conspiracy. So later on, the Ninth Circuit confirmed what the district court said, that the officer was limited in the consent of the search. He was limited to only looking through the phone. He did not have permission to answer the phone. This week, we're going to look at a similar situation, but here it is the individual, the rightful owner of the property, who is limiting the scope of the search. And before we go on, I want to thank you for watching me on YouTube, hitting that subscribe button. If you're listening to the podcast version of this recording on Audible or Spotify, please give my podcast a five-star review rating. And finally, if you want to support this channel, consider going to lostash.com and check out some of my merch, including the Do Not Arrest This Person t-shirts. Thanks for watching. Quick message from Lostash. Are you charged with a crime? Or do you want to know your rights if stopped by police? Watch California attorney Anton Vjeltsin discuss legal cases from the Supreme Court, Ninth Circuit, and California State Courts on the Lost Dash YouTube page. Anton has handled hundreds of federal and state criminal cases, has an in-depth knowledge of the law, and has the best mustache ever. Subscribe to the Lost Dash YouTube page. That's L-A-W-S-T-A-C-H-E. Today we'll be discussing United States versus Cotton. It is a Fifth Circuit case, but I thought it was interesting and a good example of the scope of the search when consent is given. Now, if you watched the last week's video, and if you're continuing on this week, there's only one lesson I want you to take from these videos. Never consent to searches. In fact, I have these sticker packs on my website, available at lostash.com. Of course, one of them is the most famous, do not arrest this person sticker, but I also have the sticker that says, I do not consent to searches. Put it on your car window, on your gun case, or whatever, as long as it reminds you to never consent to searches. So let's go on. Here we have Mr. Cotton, who's driving a rental vehicle through Texas. He passes a lieutenant who's parked on the side of the road. And in Texas, there's a law that says that if you pass an officer, you have to either slow down or change the lane. Mr. Cotton did not do so. And I guess he violated the traffic infraction. So Lieutenant decides to speed up, catches up to Mr. Cotton, pulls him over, and a lengthy detention ensues. Around 11 minutes later, the following conversation between the Lieutenant and Mr. Cotton occurred. The lieutenant asks Mr. Cotton, can I search this vehicle? Now, because the audio was not very good, we can't hear what Mr. Cotton replies. But a few seconds later, the officer again says, hold on, come here, come here, come here. Is it okay if I search it? But he must have been pointing at the luggage because Mr. Cotton replies, search my luggage. The officer then says, okay, is it okay if I search everything in the car? And again, Mr. Cotton replies, my luggage, yeah. Following this exchange, the lieutenant proceeds to meticulously search the entire vehicle, the inside of the vehicle, including the trunk. While Mr. Cotton and his passenger are sitting in the grass a few yards away. In fact, the lieutenant had another officer arrive for them to be searching the vehicle. About 40 minutes into the search, the lieutenant opens the driver's side rear door and he notices that the inner panel has some loose screws and tool markings. He makes a decision to pry open the panel and inside he finds some narcotics. Mr. Cotton is later charged with drug offenses in federal court. He files a motion to suppress but loses. 
he then enters a conditional plea and is sentenced to 121 months of custody. He now appeals his sentence because he says that the motion to suppress should have been granted. He never consented to the search of the entire vehicle, including the door. The Fourth Amendment prescribes unreasonable searches and seizures, but it permits a warrantless search to which the suspect consents. When conducting a warrantless search of a vehicle based on consent, officers have no more authority to search than it appears was given by the consent. Thus, it is important to take account of any express or implied limitations or qualifications attending that consent, which establish the permissible scope of the search in terms of such matters as time, duration, area, or intensity. The Supreme Court standard under Florida v. Jimeno is that of an objective reasonableness. What would the typical reasonable person have understood by the exchange between the officer and the suspect? The government argues that in order for the officers to search the luggage, they necessarily had to get into the car, so they had to search the car first. They rely on United States versus Solace, and in that case, the officer gained permission to search and take hold of a gun that was leaning against a wall in the defendant's bedroom. But in order to take a hold of the gun, the officer had to move a cooler aside. And as he moved the cooler, he revealed heroin. Mr. Solis was charged not only with a gun, but he was also charged with narcotics in federal court. He moved to suppress the narcotics because he said that he never consented to that search. Now, in Solace, the court said that was a permissible search because in order for the officer to take a hold of the gun, to search the gun, they necessarily had to move the cooler. And all the parties agreed that that was a necessity. Now, here the court says we have something different. It is unlike Solace. In this case, of course, the officers had to get into the car, but they didn't have to search the car in order to search the luggage. The luggage was in plain view. And in fact, we know that the officers are searching the car and the doors and the trunk for 40 minutes. They knew where the luggage was. They could have simply taken the luggage out and searched the luggage. So here, the court says this was not a legal search. It was in violation of Fourth Amendment. So I hope you've learned something about this video from this video. The fact that a defendant, an individual, can of course limit the scope of the search. Here, the defendant properly limited the search by saying that it is okay to search his luggage, but not the entire vehicle. But again, I will caution you that don't rely on the court to limit the scope. Instead, simply do not consent to searches. When the officers ask you to search your phone, to search your property, your vehicle, your house, whatever it is, do not consent to searches. And do not also open up your home or your property in general to plain view doctrine. When the officers ask you whether it is okay for them to step inside your house to talk, do not consent. Never consent to searches. If you learned something from this video, I hope you click like, hit that subscribe button, share my channel with your friends and family. If you're listening to the podcast version of this recording on Audible or Spotify, please give my podcast a five-star review rating. And finally, if you want to support this channel, consider going to lostash.com and check out some of my merch, including the Do Not Arrest This Person t-shirts. I also have that sticker pack that includes the sticker, I don't consent to searches. Take a look at that st those stickers, purchase them, put them on your gun case, on your windows, anywhere, as long as it reminds you, never consent to searches. Thanks for watching.